abandoned house. I've been exploring abandoned places and doing urban exploration for about 10 years now. Uh, started as kind of a hobby. I think abandoned places really give me like a sense of peace kind of similar to like a cemetery where you know people have been there and there are stories and mysteries and it's really sad in a way that places beautiful architecture like this historic farmhouses can just be left abandoned um, especially when there are so many people struggling like out on the streets unable to afford rent in this socio-economic uh, state in this country right now I think that all places ought to be able to be used and I think people um, should be able to live here. This right here I just think that it would be kind of fun as an art project and as a statement to fix it up and make it look as if it were habitable. <laughs> Someone could go ahead and squat in here and uh, why not? Check out this chipping paint here. Here's our story. May this anniversary unlock the doors to your castle of dreams. Oh wow, I hope it did. Sincerely, Minnie. We can now look into this. The owners, now that we have, there was no address. There's no mailbox, so we couldn't contact anyone. So now maybe we can. We gotta be careful of the floors in places like this because you never know when the water has like rotted through the floor. So sometimes there's some instability. You gotta be real careful. Great, we just met with Larry, who is the owner of this property. He lives in the house next door and uh, got some interesting history on this place. I guess uh, originally, I think the first owners of this land um, in 1840, anyway, his parents bought this house um, to live in, um, lived here for some period of time through his childhood. Uh, it just cost too much money to fix it up to the point that it needed to be because there, there were roof leaks in certain places. They had buckets on the floor. And so um, his father, Larry's father, decided to build, just build another house on this property. So they built that house there. Before it was finished, Larry's father had a heart attack right here in this kitchen and died. And so at that point in time, uh, his dad didn't even get to see the new house, but the the rest of the family moved into that house. They left this one behind. And it cost too much to demolish it, so what are you gonna do? It's still standing. Here's a great abandoned property right here. Found a nice, gorgeous old house here. Let's see what we can find. have some documents, a bill from the Illinois Department of Revenue that was uh, in 1994. Yeah, so I did a Facebook search for the last name of Walter and Elizabeth and found an individual uh, living very nearby to this location and so I messaged him asking if he was the descendant or knew any information about uh, this property, and he all he said was yes. And when I asked more questions, no response. So it, I wonder, is some of this stuff old storage? Did they come back at some point to store things from later on? We don't know how long it's been abandoned, but because there's things from the mid 2000s, you know, it sort of makes the whole thing more mysterious. That's what I was talking about. Why is the, this stuff from the early 80s here? Yeah. Seemingly untouched, but then there's things from 2002. This is a diary. What can we see here? It says 1983. Baptism, call to service, process, reflection, task, silent together, share, break, talk together. Except for this. What's this? Oh, no, that's just a card. <laughs> Standing events of the year. The book of 1953. Let's just go ahead and open it up to a page. Transportation, chemicals. We might not really get the whole story. I love this coat though. Nice red wool. If there were to be anyone squatting on this property, this would be the room to do it, I think. This is a gorgeous room. 
Big window, plenty of light, but the glass is, remains unbroken. Uh, shelving, the floor is fine. There's really no reason why this particular room would be abandoned. I mean, there's some holes in the ceiling elsewhere, but for right here, this feels like a good spot. Clean up the floor, get all the junk out, and uh, I, I think the couch would be no good anymore. But this is a gorgeous piano. It doesn't work. Oh, some of it works. That's it sort of works. It could always be tuned. Could always be tuned. Could be fixed up. Uh, see what we got that we can use here. between, on the one hand, the abandoned looks of uh, room in shambles, wallpaper peeling, you know, junk on the floor, old books, that kind of a thing, the beauty and the decay, and on the other hand, having something that's cleaned up and accessible and usable and beneficial to society. In closing, I think it's really fun to explore and visit abandoned places and see the beauty that's there, and uh, it's just really interesting. Um, but also I think, uh, I hope that in the future society will accommodate more for people who are struggling and, uh, you know, pl people who need places to live and cannot afford to fix them up. So, I guess there's some something interesting in both. Thank you for exploring with us. 